we certainly want socialization and we certainly want young people to interact and they do because their technology allows them to do that. The technology in schools, which we had in schools during COVID, just said, well, you can enter out, you can listen, and you can spend your time listening, and then occasionally ask a question, the same lack of interaction that happens in most classrooms. But the phones allow incredible interaction in the computers. I interact with people all over the world every day. I'm in groups. We do group sessions. We learn things. We try things. We share things. It is just not true that having the computers reduces the kinds of interaction that people can have. Now, it, it, for certain things, you want in-person interaction, perhaps. Uh, we can think of some of the intimate things where that's true. But for most things, you really don't need it. You really can interact with a person. And uh, if you just have their picture and their video up on your screen, and that's what more and more young people are doing these days. COVID was an extreme situation because we couldn't put people physically together in person. My son went through his first two years of high school during COVID and spent basically all of those first two years in bed. And he was on the computer when he knew the teacher would know if he was on or not. But the rest of the time, he didn't. And he learned relatively little of school stuff at that time. It didn't really matter. And he finished high school just fine. And he, he did well because most of the things that we do in school are now worthless. And we think of them as, quote, learning so that they're so important but they're really not very useful and they're really not anything that we remember. Everybody in the US went through an algebra course. How many can still factor a trinomial or a polynomial? No, these things are, are something we do and the excuse is that they will help us form our thinking or our brains, but that's not true. What forms your thinking and your brains is doing something that you're excited about, that you care about. And once you're doing that, you're willing to learn anything that you need to do to get it done, to be effective. People learn whole languages. People read whole books and more books and look at tons of YouTubes in order to learn what they need to get things done. But if they're told to do that, this is the curriculum and you have to do that, that's really not a very good way to work with kids, especially in the third millennium.